What's this like for you to be back here after being here a year ago? Uh, it's fun, you know, you get to collaborate with the other with the other players and coaches and stuff like that. So um, it's always fun getting together. What's this like for you now to have three of your teammates here as opposed to just one? Uh, I, just got, I think it's better, you know, you got some soldiers with you. You know, it's just you and somebody else. And some other teams bring fire, you know, but at the same time, it's, I mean, we are, we are just here enjoying ourselves, so it's cool. How would you describe this bond that you developed with both Mel and Zach, considering when you guys all first came in, you, 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 you described it media day as literally being at the bottom. And yeah. now, here you are today, you got, you have all this hype surrounding your team going into the season. Um, yeah, it was, it, we definitely started in the bottom. We did. It was, like, something serious. But, I mean, we worked hard together every day from our freshman year to this point, and uh, we've been seeing the productivity go up each year, so hopefully we can take that next leap and get to the, and get to the tournament. And, I mean, that's the, that's the best way I see myself finishing here, just being able to play in the NCAA tournament and make, a, and make a good run at it. What did you take away from the experience you had this past summer, being over there and trying out for Team USA? I know you didn't get the chance to make it like Whitey did, but just going through that experience and the things that maybe you took from that that could help you going into your senior year. Oh, I just know that it's that I can compete with some of the best players in the country. I know that for sure, and I, that definitely helped me to to uh, to know that going out there to the to a Team USA. So uh, I'm really excited for this year, playing against some of the guys that were out there and can't with me. Um, you know, we we like to joke and have fun and, and, and talk, jump back and forth on you know, different networks and stuff. So uh, I'm definitely looking forward to to, to, a, to a few of the uh, certain games. You've been uh, practicing here for over a month. Just how antsy are you guys to actually be able to play a game here coming up? Uh, I'm so excited. You know, we've been practicing against each other for so long. You know, we're tired of one another. It gets chippy in practice. Uh, still competitive at the same time, but it's just, it's just that time for a game, and I, I'm, I'm excited. When you look back at last season, what's the one thing that just kind of sticks with you still to this day? Um, just those close losses, you know. Um, the Minnesota game, the Wisconsin game, the Nebraska game, like those games really stick to me a lot, and uh, we got to find ways to win those games this year, and I think we will. I think we will. We'll be able to make the plays down the stretch to pull game, to pull those close games out. What leads you to believe that that's the case? That you will be able to pull out those close those plays. Oh, uh, we're more experienced. Um, we, we're even better as individuals to a man. Um, we're, like you said, we got guys that can make plays too. Also, so I'm I'm just confident in what I've seen in practice and how I know we can play, uh, to be honest. So it's not much I can resort to right now to show you why I think this as far as, because we don't have any games, right. but, but you know what I'm saying? So, right. so I'm basically just going off of the confidence of like, I have in my teammates and from what I've seen in practice. I did this with you last year, and I've done this with all your teammates here so far today. I'm going to do it again with you here. Mm -hmm. Just a bit of a name of association game here. I'm just going to throw a name at you. Tell me what comes to your mind. We'll start with Melson. And you said just one name? Or just any whatever comes to your mind when you hear his name. When you think of his name. <laughs> Come back to him. I'll find I'll get something to pop up. Okay. Zach McCabe. <laughs> Zach. And if anybody knows Zach, they'll know what I'm talking about. Just he's just Zach. Just like is it just the way it's he the is? It's the way like, he is. You know. Right. Alright. <laughs> you know how he is, so we, uh, when he talks to you guys, and he always is, mm, and all that. It's just Zach. Like he's just a silly. He's silly, but he doesn't even realize it. Like, he's just a, a funny guy. I mean, it's, it's no way to, to explain. You just gotta, you just gotta know Zach. Like people that know Zach know what I'm talking about. Right. Aaron White. Um, <laughs> this. <laughs> Crafty. Yeah. How so? Just what what he Just everything he does. Even off the court. He's like a little crafty dude. Like he he thinks people don't know what he's up to and stuff like that. But he he's always plotting on something. But yeah, that's what I that's what I got for him. I'll go back to Mel son. Um
Unpredictable. There we go. That's a good one for him. He's unpredictable. You never know what you're going to get with Melo. I think that's what makes him Melo, though. Mm -hmm. I think that's why I like being around him so much. He is unpredictable. Um, just never know what you're going to get. Josh Oglesby. Shooter. Jesus, he's a sniper. One of the best shooters I've been around. Hopefully he can, he can really show you guys how well he can shoot the ball this year. He's been working on it. Uh, one of my favorite guys on the team, most definitely, uh, to be around. So hopefully he can, he can, he can come, come out and do what he does. A few more here. Anthony Clemens. <laughs> Uh, insane. <laughs> just, uh, is it just the way he is off the court? It's just the way he is here off the court. Like, I just can't. We can't even go in depth. You could not. You know what I'm saying? His movements, his movements is just it's insane to me. So, yeah. Like those dance moves last Friday at Black and Gold? Yeah, just the hat. Took my hat at the end. <laughs> I was. I thought that was your. Yeah, hand. just just keep going. He's insane. <laughs> <laughs> A couple more. Fran McCaffrey. Uh, the Philly legend. No, it is. I said streets. The streets. This is the way he act like we don't realize when he pushes his hair back, flicks it. Look at it. His hair slicks back. <laughs> He's hilarious. Last one here, Devin Marble. Uh, just money, you know what I'm saying? From now on, from here, you hear to her first, you know, just call me money. You don't even got to say Devin no more. It's just, just cross all that out, you know what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, when you put this up, just say money. They know who it is. On it, off the court, jumping. Everything. Money. Lifetime investment, man. <laughs> look how he look. He look like money when he walk off the court. You feel me? He can smell it. He can smell the money. <laughs> <laughs> Last year, you guys got awfully close to making the NCAA tournament. You end up going at the NIT championship game. Obviously, going into the tournament would be successful for you this year. But what other things would deem this year a success in your mind? Uh, a Big Ten championship. We have a we have the team. We have a team and the the nuances to be able to do that. And uh, I think everybody is so consumed from just everybody as far as you guys are consumed with the NCAA tournament because mm -hmm. like, I think the fan base. Uh, that's what everybody wants. Right. But at the same time, people aren't realizing that we have the opportunity to compete for a Big Ten championship this year. And um, I think we have the team that's able to do that. And um, I'm just looking forward to being able to start that journey. you like being able to have some of that quote-unquote top competition going up against it as frequently as you're going to be throughout the year? Oh, yeah, definitely. It's only going to make us better, especially once we... The Bahamas trip is going to get us prepared for Big Ten play going against those some of those really good teams out there. Um, we got Notre Dame for the Big Ten ACC Challenge. Um, so we got we got some really good some good opponents on our schedule. Iowa State. Mm -hmm. So we got good good uh, teams on our, on our schedule to, to help us prepare for that Big Ten run. And my last question for you here: how how close do you feel you are to reaching that level where? you can find yourself being a name that gets discussed for NBA draft next year? Um, I just got to do what I do, you know. Mm -hmm. um, just go out there and compete, uh, lead my team, um, and just and just do all the things I do. I don't have to do anything spectacular, you know what I'm saying? I don't have to do – just be consistent, efficient, and do – and uh, help my team get wins. So at the end of the day, they want, they want guys that can win games. So.